What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another So Your Wife Wants You To. I bought a different car and I don't have I didn't have the oil leak anymore until I did. Um, so it's been leaking. I'm not kidding, <laughs> it's just the way it is. I know this is like video number three here, but um, I probably need to stop buying used cars and just buy a new one, but I try to keep payments down. So anyway, um, so I have a oil stain on the driveway. I've since, um, I'm, I'm going to get the leak fixed, but I want to get this thing nice and clean. As you might know, we're going to be preparing to move to a different house. So just trying to really like clean everything up. I should probably do a video on what to do to get your house ready to sell. But anyway, that's a, I'm going to digress on that. So I'm trying muriatic, a.k.a. hydrochloric acid, available at hardware stores, etc. Um, it's a little more dangerous. Well, I guess it's maybe not really dangerous, more dangerous than torching it with a weed torch, but it has its risks, um, including eye damage, inhalation issues, skin damage. So I wanted to go over a few quick things that you need to have on if you're going to work with muriatic aka hydrochloric acid first thing gloves yes i have short sleeves on but most of the unless it's gonna i'm gonna drop it and it'll splatter everywhere which i don't anticipate doing based on how i'll handle it aka work practices most of the risk will be your hands so definitely get some good gloves these are nitrile disposable uh, you should have a brush this isn't really personal protective equipment but you're gonna need a metal brush and a nylon broom like a normal like push broom um, hydrochloric acid will eat metal so you want to rinse these metal bristles off real well all right back to PPE we um, have a multi-gas, multi-vapor cartridge on this P100. This is important because if you just do something that filters out dust or particulate, hydrochloric acid fumes will go straight through that and still affect your nose and your lungs and your bronchioles and your mouth. So make sure it's multi-gas. Let's see if it says it on here. Sure it does. I guess by law it has to. Let's see. Well, I don't really... Oh, okay, so yeah. If you can see... All those... I don't know if you can see, because it's kind of bright out here, but you can see all the little uh, things that it protects against. So just keep that in mind. Um, this one is specifically is a 3M60926. Uh, multi-gas, multi-vapor. It filters out everything, basically. All right get them at Home Depot. Um, I think I got that at Lowe's, but I can put a link um, to Amazon. You could get it there. So that is, oh, eye protection. Very important, obviously. We, we said that. So let's go and pour some acid on the oil now. It's, it's uh, We've been belaboring this too long. I'm ready to play. Also, other supplies. You'll need actually the muriatic acid. This is what we're using. Got this at Home Depot. And you'll need a hose. You only want to keep this stuff on for two, three minutes. So definitely get a hose ready and turned on so that you can rinse it away. Um, other than that, I think that's it. So now we can start. Fun fact, the same acid that we'll be using is in our stomachs and helps us digest food. But still want to protect yourself against it. Okay, you see that... Uh, staying there where my shadow is that's what we're going to be using um, pouring it on dry is well it's already an aqueous solution it's a strong acid but it's an aqueous solution it doesn't really need water so we're going to pour it on dry and it kind of wets itself it already has enough water in it um, pouring it on to wet concrete just dilutes that acid further and it will it won't be as effective so definitely pour this stuff on to dry stain, dry concrete. 
All right, I'm gonna get my gloves on, get the hose turned on, and we'll get to going. One last thing, I will put links into the description of all the things that I'm uh, using. Anytime that you buy something using the links that I have, it's called affiliate links. It helps out our channel. Amazon sends small amounts of pennies and nickels and dimes to us, and it helps us out. So um, appreciate any support. Okay, let's do it. Okay, pulling it on. I'm gonna scrub it around. It's pretty nasty looking. It's been a couple minutes, time to wipe, time to rinse it off. Okay, I'm gonna press pause and when it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and resume the recording. And we can see how it looks. I can already tell though that um, it's looking a lot better. A couple thoughts while we're waiting. So this brush used to have bristles that were really kind of rusted and tarnished. And after just that short little time in the hydrochloric acid, you can see all the gray and silver. Like it's, they're brand new again. So that stuff is pretty nasty. Um, I would also recommend if you have them to use uh, chemical goggles instead of safety glasses. Uh, I didn't have a problem, but the more protection, the better, especially with your eyes is kind of my thought. Okay, I wanted to show you more closely. So if you can see at the very bottom row, the third one, my camera is not really focusing too well, but you can see it says HCL and that's hydrochloric acid. But it has a list of everything that it filters against. So um, SO2 is sulfate, so like sulfuric acid, HCl is hydrochloric, um, Cl2 is chlorine gas, ClO2 is chlorine dioxide. So the list goes on. I mean, there's probably 50 things on there, but it's just kind of neat to see um, how much pro protectivity this thing actually has. Okay, the stain is almost dry, so let's keep on waiting. Okay, it is drying up pretty well, so can you see where my shadow is? Um, all the white. So it's almost like it's too clean now. The oil is gone. Um, it's still drying, it's like that's dark because it's actually still wet, but the oil is gone, but now it's really, really white. And it's almost like when you're pressure, when you're uh, pressure washing, 
whatever you clean, the, whatever's next to it that you didn't clean is now, you feel like you have to clean it because it's just dirty. Or if you're painting something white in your house, like you're painting the door, well then the trim looks like a little bit off. So it's like, I don't know, there's not a great situation other than doing the whole driveway. But um, if you're just looking to get rid of the oil stains, and I think over time, over the next few weeks or months, the uh, there'll be enough dirt and oxidation on it that probably will kind of even out. So um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. it. Might run some sealer over it, like kind of do this whole square and run some sealing over it. Maybe, maybe not. But um, that's really about it. So uh, feel free to again um, do some shopping with the links in the description if you want to help out the channel. Subscribe is always nice if you like the content and all the stuff that we do. Um, and if you hit the like button, it really does help out the algorithm. I know everybody says to do it, but it really does help out if you do like the channel and, and you like the stuff. So that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Get back to work.